Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we're back doing another Guilds of Ravnica Intermediate Swiss Draft League. The rare is Niv-Mizzet, who I have not played with. I've played against it. I'm sure it's uh, actually kind of a difficult spell to play. Three blue, three red is quite the color requirement, but obviously a powerful card. Can't be countered, huge upside, all sorts of upsides. So, we're going to take Nim Mizzet. Other good picks in here. The Insight, the Field, a lot of good, uh, unfortunately, a lot of other good is it things. I like the Insight, the Field, the Agent, the Leapfrog. All great for is it. But, we'll take it. You can't really splash a Nim Mizzet either, can you? No, you cannot. Okay, here we can take, we can take the Cyclops. If we want to really make sure we can pursue this Niv-Mizzet plan, I'd like to. Fortunately, there's nothing insane in this pack anyway. There's an unexplained disappearance, which I'd be happy taking too. But I'll take the Cyclops. Um, just because I feel like it's a slightly more important card for Is it? I feel like I kind of learned my lesson after the last one. I think it's probably easier to get a mix of, you know, playable instants and sorceries, but making sure that you get enough ways to win can be an issue. All right, I'm fine with the Cyclops here. Yeah, the other good picks in this pack, I don't know, Vigor Spore Worm, Wood Shaper's playable, Burglar Rat, a lot of kind of underwhelming stuff. Ooh, Lead Guild Mage, that's a good one, but I may want the Direct Current. I'd probably take the Guild Mage, though. Draw a card, which is pretty good synergy with Niv-Mizzet, too. And the Copy Incinter Sorcery spell thing is kind of a big deal. It's also an uncommon. I do like Direct Current a lot. I think we'll take the Guild Mage, though. We're going hard on these uh, multicolor spells, huh? Okay, here... Well, Dazzling Lights is a pretty good card. Could take the Is It Locket or a Demir Guildgate. But I'll take the Dazzling Lights. Spell I can copy with Lee Guild Mage too. Now it's pretty easily copy. Two mana copy. Pretty nice. For two targets getting minus three minus O oh, and surveil four. That's pretty good. I guess it's surveil two, surveil two. Subtle difference. We'll take the Dazzling Lights though. Okay, we can take the Unexplained Disappearance now, or we can take the Is It Guildgate. Hmm, there's also a Barging Sergeant in here. I kind of feel like taking the Guildgate, even though I really... D the thing is, once again, we have to be able to cast Niv-Mizzet. Fixing is kind of going to be important. I like Unexplained Disappearance, but I'm going to take the Guildgate. Here, uh, I'm okay taking the Cosmotronic Wave. There's certainly times where you're happy you have it. Fearless Halberdier and Locksmith are not particularly exciting for what we're doing. Or we could take the Guildgate. Opens us up for some white spells. Splash. I don't really want to splash, though, if I'm running the it. You can main deck a Cosmotronic Wave. I'm going to take the Guildgate, though. I convinced myself. There might be a white splash I want to do. All right, Fire Urchin. Right in line with what we're trying to do. Another Guildgate. Okay, we'll do it. Don't really need anything else. Another Is It Guildgate, or we can take the Leapfrog. Hmm. I'm just going to get the Guildgates now. All right, we'll take the Cosmotronic Wave. Some late green flowing here. I guess we take the Plaza. No blue or red. Possibly a bit concerning. Yeah. We'll take the Locket. 
Not sure I'm playing it, though. Yeah, we're supposed to be in Selesnya again, it looks like. I can abandon ship and do it. I just kind of don't want to. Hmm. I mean, this is... I may have to... Yeah, we may just have to play green-white. Lazav. Let me make sure it's not worth anything here. It's worth a couple tickets, actually. What else is in here? Not much. It does feel like we're supposed to be in Selesnya. But you can't really splash a true fire captain, even with the guild gates. I could take the banneret. I like Lazav. It's a very fun card. It's good. Pretty cool with Niv Mizzet. Um, very underwhelming pack. And like I said, we're definitely supposed to be in Selesnya. But it's a bit late to jump into it. That's the, the main issue here. I'm going to take the banneret. Okay, Conclave Cavalier. Hmm. All right. If we're going to do it, then we got to do it. We got a lot of work to do, but if it flows any way like it did before, we should be okay, I guess. Off to a not-so-great start, but Cavalier here is a big pickup. It's a great card. Citywide bust in here, too, and Gerd for battle. Well, let's see if they wheel. So here, take the Shieldmate, maybe take the Elemental. It's pretty good. Can play the gargoyle, but we only have a couple guild gates that are actually playable right now. I'm okay taking the elemental. It's a big finisher. Light of the Legion's a good pickup. Great card. Okay, I'm comfortable taking the Guild Mage here over a Flight of Equinauts. It makes dudes. Can't really go wrong with that. Okay, good opportunity to take the Stray. I like the card in general, and it's good for what we're trying to do. Which is draw cards and get to our late game. Alright, we can take the Bonds here over a Monument and a Blade Instructor. I actually like Monument. Grappling Sundew would be playable in here, but we'll take the Bonds. I'm a big fan of the Monument, but I think it makes more sense for us to take the Bonds. I like Haas de Marshall, actually. Another Pax Favor in here. Haas de Marshall, obviously more of a Boros card, but I think it's, it's playable in something like this. It's cheap, and it gets you to your Convoke. But we don't have much. I think I'll take the second Pax Favor. I, I love Pax Favor. The fact that you can play it for free a lot of the time is really insane. Collar the Culprit, more of a sideboard card. Tenth Disregard, unexciting. We'll take the Guild Gate. We're going to have a lot of work to do in Pack 3, I admit. We can splash for a garrison sergeant. Not in love with that. But Collar the Culprit's pretty underwhelming. I'm really not a big fan of Loxodon Restorer. Alright. Just in case I need to pull from red. Take the Wary Okapi. Oh, I pronounced that wrong. Somebody had a pronunciation for me and I totally forgot what it was. Alright, Portcullis Vine. May need it. I'm going to take the guild gate over the sideboard card here. 
I do like crushing canopy. Okay. Bigger spore worm number two. Crushing crush contraband rather for sideboard. So we're in the right we're in the right deck. I'm disappointed that I'm not playing the Niv Mizzet deck, but we're absolutely in the right deck. And then we're immediately re rewarded with a Shura symbol. I am going to take it over the Tribunal, even though that's a great card. I would play Peacemaker, Shieldmate. Good chance we wheel one of those. But a Shura symbol, too good. Um, I think we're a little six drop heavy, but hey, I just moved it over to two, and suddenly, look, curve looks better again. I'd like to not splash for Garrison Sergeant, even though I feel like it has a reasonable chance of having double strike in our deck with the four guild gates. I wouldn't play the Izzets. Okay. Response Resurgence is actually a pretty interesting one. We could totally splash that, or we can take the Affectionate Indrik. Well, it's probably worth splashing. That's a pretty big effect. We can survive to that late game. Maybe Wheel of Sworn Companion. Affectionate Indrik is good. We're already top-heavy, though. I'm going to take the rare here. It makes our deck a little bit spicier. There we go. Just getting hooked up now. Double rares on on guild rares here. Yeah, Beast Whisper is just enormously good. Really good. Uh, Recluse might be something we're looking for for the blocks. Otherwise, there's a Skyline Scout. Another Portcullis Vine. Good with the Vigor Spore Worms, which we may or may not have to play. The Scout helps the curve a little bit more. Maybe we just play the Scout. We do need our curve to get a little bit better here. Okay, Patrol, Parhelion, good. Taking it over Vine. Never looking back. Generous Stray or Third Guildgate. I think we're just desperate enough for playables where we should take this over the Guildgate. We need to make sure we have enough. All right, Peacemaker is kind of exactly what we're looking for, so happily take that. Pax Favor number three I'm okay with, or we could take the third Boros Guildgate. So we're two playables from a deck currently. We already have a Gateway Plaza. We have three red sources. I wouldn't mind another Pax Favor, quite frankly. Although... Yeah, we're not exactly beat down. And I feel like we're going to wheel some goodies. I'm going to make my mana a little bit better. Jeez, another guild gate. I'll take the shield mate now, though. Huh. Interesting. Generous Stray number three, or Flight of Equinauts. I don't mind playing the Strays. It makes our Vigor Spore Worms better. Because they're not looking so good right now. Or we could take the Scout. I like the Strays, though. I like the Flight of Equinauts, too, but we're kind of top-heavy already. I'm going to take the Stray. Strays make sense, actually, with the double Vigor Spore Worms. All right, I'm going to take the Siege Worm, and we're going to... Abandon one Vigor Spore Worm for the Siege Worm. That makes sense to me. Actually, I don't like Ledev Guardian very much either. I can take the Recluse, or we can take another Vine. I feel like I'm going to take the Vine. I don't know if that's right or not. I'm just really underwhelmed by playing Ledev Guardian, so I'd rather have some more early game blocks plus value. I feel like our deck has a pretty solid late game plan now. All the vines. They're they're legitimately good for Vigor Spore Worm. More Ledev Guardians I don't need. I'm 
might cut the wary Oka o Okapi Okapi. Last pick is it Locket? Okay. All right, I dictionary dot com it. It's Okapi Okapi. So we have three Boros Guildgates and a Gateway Plaza. We probably do not even need to run a mountain, which is nice. Very helpful. And I guess we probably stick with the Sergeant. It's a 5-mana 3-3 double strike most of the time in our deck. Not with the Gateway Plaza, I suppose. but So I'm hoping to pay like 5-mana for this. And like, well, i got to pay 6 for that. And probably 5 for this. This thing's probably more like six. We're a little bit top heavy, I admit. But we're gonna play these vines. And we might just cut the Okapi. Bigger Spore Worm's actually pretty nasty with resurgence. But I'm never gonna be able to cast those in the same turn. But even if you have it out, just a 6-4 that can only be solo blocked is pretty good. We can't add any more expensive stuff to the deck. We are we are pricey, as is. We are top-heavy. But I actually like the port colors vines in here, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, I kind of feel like just cutting this, even though it's Vigilant, which is good for Convoke. I'd rather just have early blockers that can net us some card draw. We have a lot of card draw creatures, which is good for finding our big ways to win. Overall, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's the right guild to be in. We went into the right guild. We were probably a little bit late, but we got some pretty powerhouse cards. Light of the Legion, Asura Symbol, Response Resurgence, Conclave Cavalier is a bomb. Beast Whisper is fantastic. I mean, we have all sorts of just powerhouse cards here. Very powerful cards. So, yeah. A little bit removal light, but... We have Luminous Bonds, some Pax Favors. We'll see. Playing 17 lands. And uh, we don't need to run any mountains. No mountains needed. So we already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 white sources. And we need a lot of green. So... This would be 11 green and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 white. We need white on turn 2, though, as well. But we have a lot more green. I think we probably do it like this. We probably do 11 green, 8 white. I guess we only have a couple double green, but... 11 green, 8 white, 4 red. Hmm. Could do 10 9, since, like I said, we actually do need. Uh, we do need white on turn 2. For, like, Conclave Guild Mage and Skyline Scout. We have some actual. I don't know. Maybe we can do it like this and be okay. So, like I said, I would have preferred to play the Niv-Mizzet deck, but I think we're in the right deck here. This is where we were supposed to be. And it looks fine. We, we got some flashy cards, so we can totally win with this. Let's see if we can. We'll see round one. Round one, we're on the draw, and we have a keep here. Ooh, playing against Demir, huh? Okay. Hmm. So we can do this shield mate. 
but I think we're going to do the plaza. A little important that we get that out now. So, I guess we'll drop a peacemaker like it's hot. Spinal centipede, okay. Uh, that's fine. So, we'll play the peacemaker. Next turn we can probably drop the uh, stray. Well, we got the. Never mind. So we'll drop a beast whisper. They can kill it or counter it, but we'll make them do it. You definitely want to drop your peacemaker as soon as you can. And I guess they could bounce it or whatever. It's not a huge deal. We've. Our deck has a great late game plan, and we're not playing against hyper aggro, so that's okay to me. All right, so they're just trying to buy time, which is fine. I think if they attack, I will block, even though they get the adept value. We'll see. All right, they did have the Watcher in the Mist. We did not get a Crushing Canopy. I took a Guild Gate over it, but I guess we didn't get any Hitchclaw Recluses either. Hmm. Could be a problem. We'll see. I definitely would have attacked with Centipede there. I'm glad they didn't. Okay. So we can go... We're land from the Assemble, which is kind of nice. Hmm. Guess we go Beast Whisper. We're gonna need to draw some cards here as quickly as possible. Spy bug? Sure. Oh. Interesting. Huh. Why the Adept? They must be making it unblockable, I'm guessing. Um. Hmm. I suppose we block here. Okay, so last card, Dazzling Lights. So we can drop a Stray plus a Shield Mate. Light of the Legion's a good one, especially when they're out of cards in hand. So let's go Stray first. Michael Stray hand here. Draw two cards. And go shield mate. There's the land. So we can drop the light of the legion, which is good. And I guess we get in. Got quite a bit of work to do here. We may need to put as much damage on board as possible. Let's see, three, five, eight, nine. So they don't have us on a two turn clock. I guess that's good. But pretty close. So what can I do? We can, we probably need to just draw as many cards as possible because we have to find a 
removal of some sort. But they can only make two guys unblockable a turn, so it does on one hand make sense to play the Lay of the Legion. Yeah, we, we need more damage on board. That's the problem. So let's go Cavalier plus, let's do Stray first. Okay. Bonds is good. Bonds is good. So that brings it down to less damage, I guess. <laughs> So we need to, we can live if we can stop the spinal centipede somehow, or I mean the pass wallet up too, but not quite sure how to do that. Guess we play this, maybe find another flyer, I don't think there is one though. Maybe we just hold up the mana, like we have something here. Hmm. I gotta think about my sideboard here too. So, what are we gonna do here? Hmm. Let's think about this. You've got Crush Contraband, doesn't deal with anything. And then some more top end. Huh. Yeah, it's not uh, looking like what we need. I guess we have to run it back. Do we want to play first or second? I guess they sort of aggroed us down, but... I still feel like we want to be on the draw. But we did sort of get beat down that game. Alright, we'll play first. Alright, it's a keep. Okay, Night Vale Sprite's a big deal. Garrison Sergeant, can't cast it currently here. All right, Dark Blade Agent's a big deal. There's a Generous Stray, good with our Whisperer here. Yeah, it's pretty good synergy, no denying that.
Okay. Wish coin crab. So so we'll go uh, stray and divination, and then I guess our plan is to block the dark blade agent in Pax favor. Oh, I shouldn't have. No, I, no, I shouldn't have played the land. That was a mistake. Big mistake, because then I could have actually resolved the garrison sergeant next turn. Because I still could have played Guildgate and used uh, Pax Favor by tapping both my guys. So we'll block the agent. And if they have a bounce, I guess they get a bounce off. So we can cast Siege Worm here. They have three cards left in hand. Or, no, I think we just go Stray. Stray, Scout, Guildgate. But let's do that. Let's just do that now. Okay, Vine. And that's a blocker for the Sprite. That's good. So we'll go Scout. Peacemaker, good way to buy some time. All right, I'm liking what we're doing. We gotta, just gotta buy some time here. So next turn we can play Peacemaker plus Patrol. So at least we have a blocker for this uh, Sprite, which I think is sensible. So we're gonna have to block the Centipede. Oh, that's kind of a weird one. I'm going to block that with the Beast Whisper. I think we've drawn enough cards here, so it's okay. I guess they could have Mephitic Vapors, maybe, or something? I'm not sure. But even Vapors, like, wouldn't kill my guy, though. Or wouldn't come my stray at least. Oh, gargoyle. Okay, five five flyers. Pretty big, as it turns out. Okay, so hmm. Yeah, same plan. We're gonna go peacemaker plus patrol. I think. Bigger spore worms. Big. Very big. Two cards left in their hand. Okay, let's go patrol here. Okay, so we can block the sprite. Okay, capture sphere. Hmm. Two cards left in their hand. So we got to get as much damage down as we can here. Hmm. It's going to be challenging. Uh, pass while adept. That might do it. Let's see here. Oh, well, the bonds is good. Yeah, bonds is really good. Okay. So we need to leave three mana open for bonds. We're going to cast that last. So let's go vine. Or do we want to... Yeah, we don't have enough to do both yet. Close, but not quite. 
We can do the Sergeant plus the Luminous Bonds. That's not a bad idea. Double Strike is good. Or we can do Vine Vine. We get one less drop. No, we don't do the Vines. We're, we're definitely in more of a rush here. So let's go Sergeant first and draw. That's a it's actually a good one. That is an actual good one. We may have to cast response, but now we get our luminous bonds going. So we have to find a way to get a second attack in for lethal. Huh. All the while not dying here. Or we may just have to cast response, which I might just have to be okay with too. Vigor Spore Worm on a Sergeant's pretty good. I'd like it to be a little bit better, but we may not have the time. One card left in their hand. No play. That's good. That's good. Okay. So now we're up to eight, nine lands. So let's go. Let's go nine lands. So we can go one, two, seven, or six, seven, eight. We can't do both and cast response. I kind of need response to be up, just in case. I can go Vine Vine Worm plus leave up response, though. If I tap some guys, that might be a good idea. Let's draw some cards. Okay, so let's get in with the double striker here. Them taking six is actually kind of a big deal. So let's get the siege worm down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Hmm. Could have played that vine too if I had tapped one more creature. Not a huge deal, I suppose. So now the question is do I have enough with resurgence? Oh, they gained for how did I not see the game first strike in vigilance too? That's so good. I mean, it's a pretty key aspect to it. So instead of untapping them, it gives them vigilance. That's pretty awesome. Okay.
So I can response kill the adept, but I think I'm just going to take three here. No play. It's good this doesn't give trample, huh? Oh, Light of the Legion, too. That's pretty good. So, this plus this was at seven. We can still leave up response in, in emergency use only. I think so. You can also force the block by using the Vigor Spore Worm. But this forces them to use mana to make Night Veil Sprite unblockable too, which I like. I think we're going to go... Maybe we just attack first here. Wait. Yeah, I don't have Trample, so I can't kill him with the Garrison Sergeant. So we'll just get in with these four. If I'd played the Vigor Spore Worm, I could only buff that twice. That's true. Can't believe how many cards we've drawn this game. Alright. Well, let's draw some more. Gateway Plaza, Quarkalis Vine, Stray is good, and we'll pass. So at 11 mana, we can do this plus this. Or is that 12? 6 plus 5 is 11. Wow. It's a big turn. Bouncing the light dude. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to use Resurgence. I can't think of a lot of things in Demir that could instant speed kill me. We're definitely, this is a big problematic match though, just because we're, we don't have the reach. We do have some flyers, but we don't have the reach. We have some removal, but not much. So some problems there. We're a little bit slow for our opponent's evasion. And they put a card on top of their library. Well, okay. End of turn, we can sack the vine. Makes our Vigor Spore Worm better.
All right, so we'll sack the vine. And then we go untap. Let's make sure we have the lands. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six mana for this. Resurgence costs five. Six plus five is eleven. Okay, we're good. So we'll cast this on the uh, probably on the trampler, I think. Could do it on the double striker, I suppose. We'll do it here. And then we'll go resurgence. So this way, even if their last spell is like a capture sphere or a whatever. You should have enough damage. So their last spell is mission briefing on unexplained disappearance, bouncing our siege worm, which is still not enough. I guess they can surveil too, though. They put deadly visit in there, which they can't cast, so they have to do the unexplained disappearance. They have to bounce the Siege Worm, but it doesn't matter because we have enough attackers to kill them. They have to block the Garrison Sergeant with their Pass Wallet up to not die, and we're getting in with everything, so they take too much damage. Their deck is sweet, though. Very good deck. We're just lucky that we got basically handed this deck. We can do the Crush Cant Contraband. It's one of the few ways to deal with that Gargoyle. I wish that... Oh, there's Capture Sphere, too. Never mind. This is actually just... I'm glad that we know about this now. I'm glad we made it to Game 3, basically. We might want to cut a Pax Favor. I think the card is good. I do think the card is good. But maybe we can cut a, a Vine. Just because they're, like, all evasion anyway. In fact... I might want an actual Beater in front of a... Instead of the Vines, because Ground Blocks don't really make a difference. Maybe we need the Vigor Spore Worms. It's just our deck is so slow already. But the Vines, I feel like, aren't going to do a lot for us. We do have enough top end, though. That's the problem. We'll keep one Vine in. I feel like that's too many Vigor Spore Worms. I have a feeling they're going to play first, too. I would if I was them. Our late game, it's funny because our late game plan is actually better than our opponents, but this is a solid keep. Opponent is mulling. We'll take all the help we can get. I don't mind casting this as response if I have to. If I must. Crush contraband, okay. I'm okay with that, too. Okay, so we're going to have to kill that. Otherwise, they reap too much value. So we'll use our response, I think, to take care of that dude. Problem is, response is not a great thing against... The free surveil that my opponent's getting. Oh, creeping chill value, huh? Interesting. Oh, wall of mist. Well, I think I'm happy to see that because, like I said, our late game plan is better than our opponent's, and that does not uh, contribute much to their late game plan. However, we have to use a response here on their Night Veil Sprite, which is not ideal. Let's let them surveil first, make the decision, put the card on top. I assume it's a swamp.
They can bounce their own guy. I'm okay with that too. Yeah, that's actually all right. They're, they don't actually reap any surveil because they're already keeping the card on top. And uh, gives us some time to not die, I guess. This is an unfortunate hand because we have so many good things, but they're all so expensive. If we can resolve the assemble, we're actually looking pretty good. Because then we can cast the elemental. Uh-oh. Um... Okay, so I have to crush the contraband out of that, huh? Let's ditch the Pax Favor. And I can't really wait, because they get some good surveil bonuses, so... We'll blow that up now, it's just a good use of mana. Stray is good. We'll take it. Helps us. We want lands. Okay. If we can resolve this assemble in the Arboretum Elemental, I'm feeling pretty good. That thing is a big threat. Okay. So they've got the combo with the Sprite. That's going to be a problem. Did not get the land, which is also a problem. So I guess we play the Stray... Didn't get the land again, so we're in a tough spot. We need the land. If we get the land, I think we're fine. If we don't, we're in trouble. Three cards left in their hand. Hmm. I guess we can... No, we can't. Can't play the elemental. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to add up a little bit too quick. Well, Parhelion Patrol's not bad. I was kind of hoping for better, but we'll do it. Hmm. Guess we take it. So we can go light now and potentially double block the Demir spy bug. you may have to do. Could have done the symbol first in case they had like... Well, the second disappearance is kind of disappointing, but... Nothing to be done. So now, the unfortunate thing is the... Spy bug's gonna be too big to block. Yeah. Yeah, it's disappointing. Okay. So luminous bond or bust it seems like now. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, this was a fun match. I wish we could have won, but we didn't. So there you have it. <laughs> Not much more to say. I felt like we sad part was I really felt like we could have won this too, but just did not pan out for us. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to see in round two then. Okay, round two. We're going to keep this hand. A bit slow, but that's kind of our deck. So this is actually kind of sadly a scarier match than our round one, and our round one is the one we lost, so I don't know what that's telling me, but it's not a good sign, because I'm more scared of aggro than I am of uh, the Demir with a deck like this, because our, our deck just has a better late game plan than Demir. 
All right, I guess we'll get the shield made down. This is only awkward because the guild gate comes in tapped, so we can't cast response or luminous bonds next turn. But we can cast Pax Favor off of our vigilant dude, which is kind of cool. We dragon out here. Yeah. So just passing the flyers and not looking great against the flyers. I played the untapped land just so I could cast Response Resurgence. I'm still going to cast it. I could do the Lumin... Actually, let's just do the Luminous Bond. That makes more sense. Because Resurgence has some much better late game value for us anyway. As long as you can deal with is its creatures, you're fine, but we don't have a great deck for dealing with creatures. Oh man, I could have cast that if I played the guild gate. That's that's a little tough. No play, surprisingly. They must have a counter. I kind of don't want to play my Cavalier into a counter. So I'm not going to. If they want to counter a Vine, so be it. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to protect that. I'm trading a card for half a card, but only sort of. Because I still have to discard. So it's really like, it's tough to say actually. It's It's like a card for a card, sort of. I still count this as, I mean, if they have to discard, granted it's like the worst card in their hand that they're probably discarding. They left up the uh, counter spell too. Not to be overlooked there. Hmm. That's okay. I'm probably just going to crack the uh, portcullis vine here. I am, like I said, trying to pretty actively play around a counter spell. I think it's in our best interest. Okay, I'm all right with that too. Okay, big Sphinx. So, it's a good opportunity to Resolve some stuff. So we'll cast this and we'll leave up the resurgence. Or response, rather. So they get to surveil, but I would argue we came out the better of that one. So they're going to do their sonic assault, I imagine. 
We're still a couple lands shy of this elemental. Which is fine. We're probably just going to cast the Vigor Spore Worm. I don't really need to play around a counter as much anymore. Can I cast it? No, I can't cast it yet. Close, though. So we can cast the Worm plus the Vine. I think we're just going to make them... Well, yeah, we'll make them tap it. I don't think it matters. They can Sonic Assault our, our Thinger. Ionize is fine too, actually, because we still can uh, get in for four now, which is good. And I guess we can actually cast our Arboretum Elemental next turn too, which is nice. A pretty big threat. So I think we successfully played around the counter of this game, which is nice too. They have more direct currents in there? I guess they put them in there. So we're actually going to do the elemental. I'm not attacking first because they have uh, they have sonic assault. Oh, they just have counters for days. Well, that's too bad for us. I thought for sure we get by the one counter, we're fine, but that was not the case. So, get in with the Thinger, and then see if we can do something with the Thinger. Capture Sphere. Hmm, okay. Let's do the Vine here. Sack this, yeah. Oh, I see. Well, let's cast that. Well, they actually have the two direct currents. This is an actual instance where I think I want to do it at the end of their turn. Because I don't want them to be able to direct current my guys. Even at the value loss for them. We're going to hope we got by their only two counter spells. Okay, that's pretty good. I can't do both though, so I guess we just get in and do the, the sergeant probably. Sergeant Slaughter here. I might want to do the Beast Whisper, I'm not sure. What are we casting? Oh. Okay. Probably would have done that after I attacked. I mean, granted, it would have taken more damage, but... Alright, I'm actually gonna... I guess we do the Whisper. I... We can't kill them either way. Because they can just block. With the... If we play the Sergeant or whatever. So, let's do the Beast Whisper to... Get some more card draw value here. Sure. So I'm going to play the sergeant to draw guess we can play the stray too let's 
play the guild gate. I actually don't want to play the peacemaker, which is kind of funny. Alright, sideboards against Izzet, well, they do have the Capture Sphere. Four mana to blow up Capture Sphere is not the best value. I think I still like the Vines. We can do a Crush Contraband for like a Pax Favor, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. What were all the creatures they showed us again? A fire urchin. A wee dragonaut. City watch sphinx. They did show us some more evasion. So it might make more sense to do the wary okapi. To get in there a little bit more. All right. Well, I think we're keeping. This hand needs help, but I like the vine for emergency use. That was a good draw. So they have disdainful stroke for our big things, which is definitely problematic. Probably means we can't play around... Uh, counters this game. I mean, we can. It's just, it's going to be more challenging to play around counters, I should say. Maybe I shouldn't have kept this hand just because it's so much fat, but that's all right. Okay. That was a good draw. All right. I might need to keep the vine alive. Just to help cast these things. We're going to have to try and resolve this. Cavalier if we can. They only need one land open, yeah. Disdainful stroke, so gotta hope they don't have it. Because we can't play around it. They have too much board now. Alright, well, resolved. That's good. Okay, so yeah, the capture sphere for our thing. Three cards left in hand. Hmm, we gotta resolve this light of the legion. That's pretty essential. Bigger spore worm. Yeah, I don't think we could have gotten a more awkward draw than what we just got here. So literal, how many six drops in the deck, and we have every single one. Yeah. I don't think it gets more awkward than that. Every single expensive spell in hand. <laughs> All within one mana reach. I guess not the elemental. Alright, well, I would be lying if I said uh, we're, we took too much damage this game. <laughs>
we we took too much damage this game, sadly. And now we're yeah. All right. So let's play the light. So we have a flying blocker. Yep. So just getting tempo and beaten aggressively, unfortunately. So it looks like we lose when we just do nothing until turn six. Got it. I think I could have told you that before this game started, but if that wasn't clear enough, I think I get it after this game. Understood. Got it. Okay. Peacemaker, play it. Does it keep me alive? No, it does not. So I'm not even going to bother. Okay. So... Hmm, what do we do? I guess we go back to being cheap deck. I, I have no idea. We need to not draw every single six drop in our deck, and I think we'll be just fine. Maybe we just cut this and play another thing just so that doesn't happen again. I have no idea. All right, got to play first because they're aggro. Uh, this hand we can keep, which is good. Uh, so we use a plaza because it's got more of a cost associated with it than a guild gate. And I guess we're just going stray into stray and hoping to hit just all the gasoline we need here. No two drop is good, actually. That's nice. Beast Whisper, that's a good draw. Yeah, we can actually play Beast Whisper next turn and start divinationing. I guess we're going to do that. So let's go Whisper this turn, just resolve it. doesn't die to direct current either, which is actually kind of nice. That's a weird one. So let's cast a stray, I guess. Port colors vine's good. Um so we'll play the vine. Peacemaker's good. Let's go Guildgate, get in for two. I guess we could crush Contraband and Drown Secrets. Don't really need to do that, though. Crackling Drake, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, they're going to mill themselves, probably. Actually, I would have milled myself if I were them. Seems better with the Crackling Drake. So, we can double divination this turn. 
Why don't we just... Well, I can also drop the Arboretum like it's hot. Probably do that. Can I do both? I don't think so. Actually, can we even cast here? This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's go for Big Dog here. Good because they can't interact with it. And they can't currently counter it. And we have the Centaur Peacemaker, which is quite good. Well, City Watch thinks is a big deal. So why don't we uh, draw some cards first because we might be able to find a Luminous Bond. Oh, or a Pax Favor. Perfect. Okay. I guess they could double block, but pretty, pretty much okay with a double block there. Hmm. We have so much card advantage right now, I'm almost willing to attack with the Beast Whisperer, but I suppose we don't. Let's just get in with the Elemental here. See how they block. They're certainly not incentivized to double block. So we'll do this. Kill your thing. Maybe we just crush contraband now. Not even worry about drown secrets. Let's just get rid of it. Ah, uh, but they could. Hmm, I guess we... Hmm. Alright, I'm going Peacemaker instead here. Or do I want to go Stray? Neither one can attack. So let's get the Divination. Okay. So we have to get rid of the Drowned Secrets. Thankfully they can't deal with the Crackling Drake, which is good. Wall of Mist is not a huge deal. Do we have to draw from this too? You do have to draw. Wow. That's okay. So if they have disdainful stroke, they can disdainfully stroke my crush contraband here. It's actually kind of a big deal. Luminous bond is nice. Let's go, uh, let's Luminous Bond the Flyer here. I think we'll attack with the Beast Whisperer. I'm kind of done drawing cards.
That's interesting. Well, since they left Disdainful Stroke up anyway, well, now nah, we really do need to do it now. Okay. I really want to make them do it on their turn. I'm going to get some more threats down, I think. Jeez, I don't want to draw more cards, though. <laughs> so they have to mill us. Getting two more threats down is a big deal. I think we're just going to go for the threats here and play around the Disdainful Stroke. Maybe getting the evasion is better. Well, they can't cast their Disdainful Stroke, and that's all I care about. So, we're okay. Let's get in there. Alright, I guess we don't need to play a guild mage or anything. All right, cool. Got round two. See you in round three. Round three. Going into it. Keeping her. Good hand. Is a good hand. Plenty to do early, which is probably the foremost issue with our deck is that we don't have a ton to do early. So this is a good hand. That was a good draw. All right. I like it. Staying busy, game planning it up. Shield mate and the peacemaker, pretty solid start. Playing against Boros Aggro, probably an unideal match. Hmm. Well, I suppose we get in. And we'll play a Peacemaker here. Okay. So we'll go Guild Mage and Divine. Probably. Yep. All right. Uh, 
Uh, it's a good rep. So, get in with the Peacemaker here. Play the vine and pass. Okay. Sure. Sack the vine. Okay. Bonds is good. Let's get in there. Okay. Play the light. We lost our mentor target by doing this, but I'm okay with that. Well, that's too bad for us. So we'll bonds the legionnaire. We'll sack the vine first, I guess. Oh, that's a good draw. So I guess we can't do both, so I guess we'll just sack this. Play the Cavalier. And pass. Melt Ward Minotaur, sure. So we'll go Stray first. Pax Favor, good. Okay, we'll get in with the Cavalier. And we'll Luminous Bonds the Flyer here. I guess we still can cast Pax Favor, which is nice. Okay. Scout, good draw. So let's get in here. Play the scout and pass. And we are close, but no cigar on the lethal, even with even if we do connect with the Pax Favor help or whatever. Flight of Equinox. Alright, well, I guess we can still attack into that. Surprised they blocked there. If I knew the Pax Favor was coming, I probably would have blocked with. I probably would have blocked the Scout just to at least get the trade out of it. But maybe they don't care. Hmm, okay. Uh, 
that's a good draw, but I mean it's actually fine. So we'll get in with the the dude. So we'll kill the mentor dude. He's kind of the biggest threat at the moment. And then we'll play a Beast Whisperer. And I suppose we'll pass. Hmm. No tax. Oh, that's a good one. So, let's just pre combat it in case my Beast Whisperer dies here, huh? That was a good draw. Okay. Don't really need to attack here. Okay. So, playing against Boros, we want to lower the curve. Vigor Spore Worm goes. We bring, we're leaving in the Portcullis Vine. At least they look good here. And then we probably, I guess, do like a Wary Okapi. Okapi, Okapi, whatever. Maybe do the Guardians. How good are two fours? Opponent showed us some two threes. Eh, they're still not great. Too slow. Uh, hmm. Garrison Sergeant's pretty slow, too. We have the late game plan on lockdown. I'm going to ditch the Sergeant for a Guardian. Four red sources for one <laughs> splash spell is a bit much, but I want to be able to cast things earlier. We really need to, I think. It's pretty essential. Okay. I don't like the... <laughs> Even though the elemental was good there, I don't particularly like it in this match. It's pretty slow. I'd like to keep this. It seems pretty... Pretty greedy to keep that. All right, we're keeping this one though, and we're keeping that on top. All right, well, actually, it's a fine hand, a fine mall, I should say. Okay. Vine number two. All the vines. Well, this is good for building towards our uh, our duders, our dudes with the dudes. That's the word I'm looking for. Convoke. Okay. Need the white mana for the conclave. And the Light of the Legion, I should add. Oh, well, that's actually pretty good. Alright, they had the Legionnaire, unfortunately. No tax, though. Interesting. Uh, I got the white mana. Yeah, it's going to have to be good enough. Do 
Boomer's bond on the cat. Okay. So, I think we're actually killing the mentor, dude. Believe it or not. Okay, so that's a good draw. I got two cards left in hand. All right, let's just bonds this now. Damage prevention. Sure. So we'll sack it. Pax favor, okay. Let's get our Light of the Legion down. They have one card left in hand here. Hopefully it's not the thing that does the thing, the Conclave Tribunal. Looks like it is indeed. No, it's Luminous Bond. All right. Well, we do have Crushed Contraband, but... Not sure it's going to be good enough. Out of sideboard, I mean. Well, response is actually really good here. So. They have one card left. Okay. We'll response the Rock Charger. You may sack the Vine, too. It depends. How's the marshal? Hmm. I'm gonna sack the vine. Stray is good. And patrol. Alright, let's go. This guy. This gal. Okay. One card left. So, attack with the Conclave Duder. We take it. We'll go Stray plus Patrol. East Whisper. Well, it's even more exciting. Cool. Got the match. You ended up going 2 1. Remember, we didn't even start building this deck until pack two. So that's pretty satisfying, actually. This deck went a long ways. And uh, like I said during the draft, I wanted to play the niv mizzet deck, but it was clear we were supposed to play these colors. And honestly, we could have won this whole draft. I felt like we were intended... We, I feel favorable to win match one. Even though they had a lot of evasion, uh, our late game plan was just so much better that we just needed to weather the storm and we couldn't. Like, missing that sixth land drop cost us the, the match, essentially, in game three. But hope you enjoyed it anyway. We'll be back for more. We'll see you then.